Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go to the file new. I'm just going to create a new document. I'm just going to call mine cartoon character, but you can call yours whatever you want. Now I'm just going to keep it at A4 and press OK. Next, I'm going to go to my shape tool and select the lips tool. I'm just going to hold shift and drag to create this circle here. Next I'm going to go up to my fill and select this yellow colour. I'm going to go to my cursor and just place it in position. Next I'm going to go to layer and layer styles and I'm just going to add a stroke to this shape. I'm just going to change the value to 35 and I'm just going to change the colour. You can pick any colour you want. I'm just going to select this one here and then press OK. Next I'm going to go to layer, layer styles again and select inner glow. I'm just going to change the blend mode to normal and increase the size and the choke. And I think that looks okay. Now my next step is I'm going to go to my shape tool select the lips tool again and just add another lips to the circle just going to go up to fill and select white it creates a new layer here I'm just going to rename this layer just going to call it right eye this is good practice to name your layers as uh, you don't confuse yourself And place in position. Just going to go to layer and layer styles again, and I'm going to add another stroke to this. I'm just going to change this value to 10, and I'm just going to change the color, and I'm going to select the same color as before, and press OK. Now I'm going to go to my zoom tool, and I'm just going to zoom in a bit. And I'm going to go to my pen tool and select add anchor point. Just going to add two anchor points to the bottom of the shape here. Next I'm going to select my delete anchor point. I'm just going to delete this middle one here. I'm just going to select my convert point tool and just move these up to create this shape here. Next I'm going to click on my layer and just duplicate this layer. I'm just going to call my new layer left eye. And press OK. Just going to get my cursor tool and just move it over. And just make sure auto selects on and this allows you to select any ob object on the screen without going to your layers. And I'm just going to, uh, next step I'm going to do is select delete anchor point. And I'm just going to delete this anchor point, the top of my second shape. I'm just going to go to my convert point tool. And I'm just going to move this one down to create this shape here. And that looks okay. Just going to move it up just slightly. And yeah, I think that looks okay. So my next step is I'm going to select my lips tool, and I'm going to add another circle to my shape. Just going to go up to fill and select blue. Next step is I'm going to go to edit, edit copy, and edit and select paste. And this has just copied my paste. I'm just going to select my path selection tool and move the object over. Next I'm going to go to layer, layer styles, and I'm just going to pick inner shadow. And I'm just going to increase the size a bit here, to about 45, and then press OK. Next step is, I'm going to go to my, um, I'm going to create a new layer. 
I'm gonna go to my ellipse tool again. I'm just gonna add another shape here. And I'm just gonna keep it at this. I'm just gonna place it in the middle and I'm just gonna go to edit, edit copy and paste. I'm gonna get my path selection tool again and I'm gonna move this copied image over here. Now we just gonna go to layer, layer styles, and select bevel and emboss. And I'm just gonna move the angle to the center. I'm just gonna increase the size to about 45 again. And I'm just gonna reduce the depth to about 35. And then press OK. Next I'm going to go to my... Yeah, I think that all looks okay. I'm going to go to my pen tool and select new layer. And if you just click, click and drag, you can create any shape you want. I'm just going to create this shape here. If you make a mistake, just press Ctrl Z and just make sure you've selected the shape instead of the path. I'm just going to create the shape here. I'm just going to select this color here. And this is going to be my eyebrow for my character. I'm just going to select the new layer again. I'm going to select my pen tool. And I'm just going to add another eyebrow to this eye here. Just by clicking and dragging, you can create any shape you want. And I'm just going to put my fill again and select this color again. I'm just going to get my cursor tool and place it above the eye. And I'm going to just hold Alt and zoom out. And my character is starting to take shape. I'm just going to go to my pen tool again and create a new layer. And I'm just going to create a mite for my character. Just by clicking and dragging the pen tool. I think that looks okay. I'm just going to go to the fill and select this colour again. And select my cursor tool. I'm just going to place it above the two eyes. Below the two eyes, sorry. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to go to my shape tool again and I'm going to select this ellipse tool. And I'm just going to create two small shapes. You can select any color you want, I just pick that one there. I'm just going to turn the opacity down to 50%, or maybe go a bit lower to 30. That looks okay. Then I'm going to go to edit, copy and paste and I'm going to get my path selection tool again and just move my copied shape over and place it under the second eye to create this effect here then I'm going to go to my zoom tool and hold alt and zoom out next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to go to my pen tool again and this time I'm going to create an arm for my shape just by clicking and dragging I'm just going to create this shape here just by clicking and dragging you can create any shape you want, I think that looks okay I'm going to go to edit, free transform and I'm just going to enlarge the shape a bit my cursor tool and just place it in position. I think that looks okay there. And just make sure that this layer is below the circle so it goes behind it. 
like so. Next, I'm going to go to the new layer and select my ellipse tool, and I'm just going to create a new shape here and place it. Just going to change the color to white, and I'm going to ch change the stroke to black. Just going to get my cursor tool now again. And I'm just going to place it above the shape so it's in front of it. Next, I'm going to go to edit, edit, free, free transform tool, and just rotate the shape, get this effect here. And now the final step is just to create a hand. I'm just going to select my pen tool, and I'm just going to click and drag a number of times until I get. kind of shape here just gonna get my comfort point tool just to edit the angles of the shape I'm just gonna get my pen tool again and just clicking and dragging until you get a shape that you're happy with And if you make a mistake, just press Ctrl and Z. And that will delete your last action. And just keep clicking and dragging until you get something like this. And I'm just going to get my layer and just place it below the ellipse to get create this effect here. I'm just going to get my zoom tool and hold Alt and zoom out. And that there is basically your cartoon character. And if you want to add some more effects, you can just go to layer, layer styles, and select inner glow. And this is going to select this color here to create a kind of a shadow on the hand. And you can just mess around with the size and choke again until you're happy with with the amount of glow you add to your shape. good practice to place your layer styles window beside your image so you can see what you're doing and that looks okay you can just keep messing about with the effects until you happy with I think that there looks okay and that's how you create a basic cartoon character in Photoshop.